Have you ever dreamed about the perfect shoes? Just to discover that either they don't exist or they are so expensive you're not willing to give so much money for shoes? Of course you have. Everyone has. Hello, Bacon. I just got back from vacation. My neck is blocked. Therefore, I cannot do much. So I thought we could sit down, relax, and paint some shoes. I got this. Beautiful Pumas. For, believe me, you're not. 20 bucks on sale. And they're white. If you know me a little bit. I am not a white wearing person. First, I have that huge monster over there. And each time she sees me in something white or light colors, she insists on stepping on my foot, just drawing everything. All of my shoes have sushi paws on it. All of them. Thank God I love color. <laughs> Let's paint this. This is not the first time I tried to customize sneakers, but the first attempt did not go really well. I made hamburger shoes to go with my hamburger outfit, but I used acrylic paint mixed with fabric medium to make it more malleable But it's still cracked all over the place It's a disaster It's one use and it's already destroyed So now I got fancy leather paint And I will try with that I mean, look at all these designs, they're so cool You can't buy these done I mean, some of these will go for hundreds of dollars People who actually do this, they make it seem so easy, so what could go wrong? This paint is not very good. These are already three layers. You can still see a lot of things. I thought Angelus would have my back, but apparently they don't. It's okay though. I'll just put more layers on top of it. How many do you think? Write it down. I'm very curious. The good thing is that I tested. I scrunched the shoe and I twisted it a little bit to see if it's going to crack like the other one because I don't want that to happen again. But since it is leather paint, it didn't crack. That makes me happy. So let me put some tape here, see if I can detect some of the colors and avoid spillage. <laughs> This will be an option after all. Just testing it out to see if I can get the marks, the brush marks away with a sponge. It is still very patchy, especially the blue and the green. But it's already looking better with using the brush and then using the sponge to take away the lines. The only problem is that I didn't prepare the shoe. I didn't prepare the leather to get the paint. I thought the paint was going to stick. I already noticed that some places, if I scratch it, the paint will come off. But mostly where the paint is wet, which is funny. Because once it's dry, it's fine. I'm just very concerned for the longevity of this shoe. But the colors are pretty cool. Let's continue this. Oh lord. This is the way it looks when I paint it and use the sponge to kind of take the awful brush mark away. It looks better. The first one is looking very bad though. The, the brush marks are not disappearing from the blue part. I think I'm gonna have to find a way to remove the paint completely and start new. Which is kind of ridiculous, but uh, this was supposed to be a very simple project, but nothing is simple in this house. Nothing. Ever. Ever. The laces also need to be cartoony. I will add a black contour to them. <laughs> They are still looking very different in terms of amount of paint, but I think that the one on the left, that's actually the right foot, needs just another layer of blue and green. And then I can continue with the rest of the detail. This is taking longer than I thought it would. I'll try first with a pen and then let's see how it's going to work. <laughs> Okay, change of plans. Pen is not good enough for all the nooks and crannies. I need to use a brush. How much? I will swear. I'm shaking so much. Oh, Why? <laughs> no. The positive side to this style is that the lines don't need to be perfect. Because it's a cartoon. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so scared. Because I shake so much. And today is very bad. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. I'm sweating. <laughs> no, uh, come on. I'm not really swearing. I'm just so concentrated that the only noises I can make is moaning. Some sort of moaning. Ah, no. When you zoom in to show your painting, but you paint off frame. Just because it went so well. 
<laughs> so this happened. Let's cartoonize this part already. Cartoonize? Cartoonify? Is there a word for that? I need a better way to film, like point of view. Uh, let's, let's do this like this. My hands are so unstable that I really need them to be anchored. My giant head or my hair is always in the frame. Very annoying. Look, this one is a little bit cartoonified already. I am really enjoying this. I really am. Turning out cooler than I thought it would. Oh no, I touched something. Oh, this is complicated. But then everything that I mess up can turn into a pretty puny detail. There are no mistakes, only design choices. Like the stitches showing here in some parts. Using the real stitches is not cartoony enough for me. So I'll go bigger and lower. It's a lot of work, but wow, I'm really liking this. I'm really, really liking this. And now just some janky Puma writing. Really janky. <laughs> I think I'm gonna work on the sole using Sharpies because from my late hamburger shoes, this is the first part where the paint comes off. Ugh. Oh my God, it's taking the paint with it. Wow. <laughs> Not that bad. I can fix this. And I still have this one here that is also pretty boring and this is fabric so there will be no cracking problems hopefully but what to do with it what to do with it where is my cell phone let's go to the internet for some inspiration slipper slip on i don't know the name of these shoes wait i saw something interesting online and i think i have the materials for it J just a second just a second <laughs> shaving cream shaving cream <laughs> How do they do that? How to cream dye your shoes? Show me. Yeah, whatever. So you have the shaving cream and then you add the dye. Swirl. It, it turns out so smoky, it's so fun. I think I'm going to go and just add the powder on top of the shaving cream and then dip the shoes inside. So excited! I always get so excited when I can't make a mess. <laughs> The quick question is now, will this be a quick one? Will I mess up everything? Will I die? Or will I kill the shoes? I have this surface. Die, 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 die. Ew, it's so dirty. Don't be so dirty. Why are you so dirty? Probably because it was here in this room for over two years now without me actually cleaning it. Beautiful it! Oh, let's just use all the colors I have and make a nice smoky tie-dye measuring thing. I don't know how long the foam stays as foam, especially considering this thing is 100 years old and already out of using window. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Come on, this was underwhelming. <laughs> smells good. Why? Come on, don't be so underwhelming. It's full. Why doesn't it work? Uh, Why do all my dreams? I mean, it's, it's full. It's really, really, really full. Let's operate on this then. What's the chance that this might explode on my face? Nutting. The hole here. What is actually going on? I was so excited. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Like, even if I, I press it with the thing here, it doesn't come out. As if all the air that is inside of this is not there anymore. Hmm. Not enough foam. <sighs> Shaving cream doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Shit. Why are you like this? I don't accept it. It's full. It's really full. <laughs> I am so sad. Now I broke the valve. I broke the valve. Okay, whoa, now I broke it. Ah! Now there's definitely no air there anymore. Again, I should be wearing gloves for this. I just don't feel like it. Ooh, red, pink, purple, this blue. We have no space for the other blue. Just swirl this. Mm. I don't think this will work. This doesn't look like it's going to work. But we're going to try this anyways. Because I already started. And once I start, I can never go back. More pink and more red powder. How to not die shoot. <laughs> Pay attention to the most ridiculous way of beard dyeing a shoe there is. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, then just stick there, stick there, 
I want it to be covered in whatever this is that will make it work. It will be very dotted. <laughs> now what? Just leave it here and wait for the foam to die? Or do we have to wash it? Ugh, I didn't watch the thing to the end. This will either turn really, really good or really, really bad. The good thing is that these shoes cost like five bucks. I also got them on clearance. And if I ruin them, they will be my garden shoes. <laughs> the garden shoes. This looks like cake with sprinkles on top. Do so you get the cake feel? A little bit of this super pink here on this side as well. Oh, well. This, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Not all of the Gambiarras work all the time. I'm very skeptical. <laughs> Something later. It's dry and stand. It's very dotted. It looks interesting. It was not the perfect effect for the foam thing, but it turned out okay. It's still very boring though. I want some more detail. Glitter iron on. Move, don't you move. Oh, my earthquake hands today are out of control, man. Super totally out of control. I guess I could do this with the silhouette, but I don't wanna. I'm putting a lot of polka dots in this. <laughs> I still have the paper punch from... Of course I do. That's your paper dress. I'm gonna add some flowers to it as well. Oh, my finger hurts now. <laughs> I just remembered I have a lot of flowers from the Dior still. I think I'm gonna make something a flower applique here with those. I do have <sighs> silver glitter. And the ideas start getting evil. Will you cut? <sighs> Look at this, it's so cute! This requires a little bit more violence than I oh, anticipated. And from the other side? Maybe I do need to use the silhouette after I all. I don't wanna! This didn't work. I will weep. I'm the only person who cannot cut anything with a silhouette and that's very annoying. I paid so much for that freaking machine and it didn't cut. It didn't dent. I cut from this side. Why? I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. And here, violence is always the answer. I'm taking matters into my own feet. Destroying the floor, but I don't care. Can be angry if it works. Best way to save materials, but I don't care. When I'm angry, I don't care. <sighs> Wanting to be the start of the same on both sides. Now this shit is getting actually too hot. Blue. Although this is very annoying, I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm <laughs> actually sweating. Ooh, it's looking kind of cute. Now, work on some 3D flowers. Hours. Ooh, I'm happy. I haven't touched this in a very long time. Oh my god. I think it's enough. Oh, I don't need many flowers for that. Ooh, let's add some glitter to this that I used on my wall. It's very chunky. I know it's terrible for the environment, but if I could keep my fingers in glitter 24 seven, I would totally do that. I'm gonna go with normal glue. I need to come up with something that I can dip them and then put them to dry. Thingies. <laughs> of course you don't because I'm talking nonsense again. I have pants. Did I really lose my blue jack? I don't know where the blue tag is, but I still have foam clay. This to this, and it needs to be. No. It, it won't. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, you know what, whatever. Let's get my hands dirty as usual. Dirty hands are the key to a happy soul. Ew. No, this is not normal glue. That was actually watered down glue. I'm so going to lose glitter everywhere. Oh. Did I really? Why did I do that? What's that? Why did I do that for? Oh my god. I don't do this on purpose. I swear I do not do this on purpose. Just my brain sometimes goes into a what's happening mode and then weird things happen. I am adding at least three coats of glitter to each of these flowers. But they need to be fully dried before I can continue. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep putting glitter and removing glitter. <laughs> Look at that. Now they just need to dry. <laughs> Very glittery. Upper details totally gone. There's glitter falling all over the place. I will add a layer of resin, UV resin. I think this will be a good idea. Don't you think? I think so. And then I'll kind of connect sort of a brooch, brooch, brooch <laughs> to put on here and be happy about it. My floor stores don't judge me. Down. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel
up. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know I had to bring her to the hood. Like she carrying civil when she keep on turning head. Cause when she walked that thing, jiggle, jiggle. And we going back to back on them like we here, we and we ride. Yeah, so long story short, customizing shoes is not that easy. Which one is your favorite? Let me know, please. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you for watching. If you like these shenanigans, then check the video somewhere here on the screen that I chose especially for you. Because I think you're going to like it. Why is this in my hand? I'm so going to lose this.